This first poem is more to do with just poetry than anything else. And I've, I've called it, because that's what it is, I've called it a poem. A poem. A poem might declare itself at once. Another poem might take its time. Another might never. There are rules. A poem might obey some of them. Another poem might break them all. Another might ignore them. to itself, perhaps, might make a point of not being about anything. It just makes verbal noise when you pronounce it. A poem can be good. A poem can make mistakes. A poem can lie, steal, trip you up, let you down, give confusing directions to the bus station. A poem can be bad. A poem can be bad. You might think you know where you are with a poem. A poem might think it knows where it is with you. A poem might think it says what it means. When in fact it says something else. A poem might think it makes logical sense when in fact it does no such thing. Another poem might be deliberately obscure, incomprehensible. A poem might pretend to know more than it does. Another poem might be a spy. Agglomeration can pass itself off as a poem. You can't tell a genuine poem by the company it keeps. Finding one in a poetry book doesn't make it a poem. It might just be the result of networking between poet and publisher. <laughs> When a poem leaves a poet, it starts a life of its own. A poem can grab your attention and then go on to bore you stiff. Another poem can insinuate it. Insi another poem can insi another poem can insi another poem can insi 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 insinuate itself. Insinuate itself into the consciousness of a people. Thousands, the thousands, of the thousands, the thousands, of the thousands, of the thousands of poems born to a generation. Only a handful survive. You take 
an awful risk with the point. For example, he might think it's finished before it <laughs> My advice to you is to treat it like a betting shop and walk right past it. A poem, another poem, this poem, that poem, any poem, have no truck with it. Don't push your luck with it. And whatever you do, don't fuck with it. Poet, don't write it. Reader, don't read it. You don't need it. Make a beeline for a bakery instead. You know where you are. With a loaf of bread. <laughs> <laughs> kind of one cafe respect festival. Every hour it is open. Just by what it is. And it's in Exeter. And if you recognise it, um, you'll know where it is. But it's called, well, it's got, the, it's called, I'll give you the title right in the beginning, it's called Cafe at 36. You might have been there if you haven't. Here's an advert for it. Cafe at 36. This is not a city centre cafe. It's a cafe that serves a community. Community, but I still feel welcome. You get all ages in here, and nearly all types, employed, unemployed, retired, social workers and their clients, people with disabilities and their carers, mental health workers.
one inspired, we don't know whether consciously, by those loose patterns that the brain weaves before your mind's eye when you stare into pitch black. Dancing amoeba seen through a microscope but it's with a mind of its own. A couple of shelves of books, the customer loose. One colourful mystery of Britain draws you every time. With its corruption cover-up parallels with the things ain't what they used to be. You've never had it so good present day. The bookcase of books. Second hand. Charles caused his collected poems to last you a lifetime. And a history of Christianity that makes you wonder if goodness makes you wonder if goodness ever existed to say nothing of the large potted plant behind your chair alive and rooted in compost but as if in self-protection it looks as if it's pretending to look artificial with its large Boldly patterned leaves, some broken or frayed, all thin and bendy, and their backs the colour of aubergine. To say even less of the coffees and teas and herbal infusions and homemade cakes and scones and pies and tarts and the choice of all day breakfast. You rise to go. And as you near the exits, you can almost hear them from the nearest wall to you. The posters call to you of Buddhist meditation, Tai Chi, Qigong, Yoga, Ananda, Beginners, Jills, Korfball, Slimming World, Art of Australia, Calligraphy, Photography, Baby and Toddler Music Groups, Fighting high risk neuroblastoma. Quiz night. St. Thomas Library is back. Something amazing. Jump 15,000 feet. Friday stalls at the church. The twits. Then, out into the world of Cowick Street. But you'll be back.